Hello, my lovely pirates and mermaids. We finally made it to the zipper day. I know a lot of you have been waiting for the zipper videos. So um, this is the last step on our jacket sew along. We'll be adding the zippers to uh, the hoodie or the bomber style jacket. For this video, I'm going to be doing the hoodie because it's smaller, so it's easier to see in the video. Um, I went ahead and pressed a quarter of an inch, uh, three quarters of an inch interfacing. I don't know how you, you, what is it? you can see it here. I went ahead and pressed it on the jacket, on the inside of the front of the jacket, on both sides. This will stabilize, uh, stabilize your fabric when you sew your zipper on. So don't this step. Um, lightweight interfacing should be enough. If you're using one on one, even better. But that, I find that to be a little bit more expensive. So that I've done those steps already that you should be doing too. I also went ahead and less glare maybe went ahead and added some interfacing to my chin guard piece and pressed it on the wrong side so now this one is stabilized too and now I'm going I've already put my markings from the pattern on the on the chin guard so now I'm gonna go ahead and sew the top of the chin guard with a quarter of an inch seam allowance at the top and at the bottom right sides together so I'm flipping it and I'm going to be sewing a straight stitch it doesn't have to stretch actually it shouldn't stretch a quarter of an inch seam allowance both at the top and at the bottom always remember to back stitch This is how we'll be creating our chin guard. All right, so I went ahead and did that. Did that. So these are this is the wrong side. I'll clip my corner here to make it nice and uh, flat when you flip it. Flip your chin guard right sides out because I've already pressed it before. I did a memory press. It always nice and flat. So the chin guard is ready. And then I have my markings here. I'm gonna go ahead and fold at the marking line and add a clip. So I'm folding at the marking line that's on the pattern. You just need to transfer it and putting the clip. So this is my chin guard that's already to be added to the uh, jacket. So the jacket will be like this. And my chin guard will be inside. See, that's why I always do this. Even though I've done this pattern so many times, I always do a mock-up of how the jacket will look just to make sure I have folded everything the correct way, the right way, uh, in the right direction, before I have to uh, unstitch everything. So this will be my chin guard. when, And this is where my zipper will be. So now I know for sure it's all in the right 
uh, in the correct spot. So now I'll take my zipper and like I told you on the first day, remember, I like to use long zippers. This is a 28 inch zipper and this is a size eight, size eight uh, kids. So it's definitely much longer than I need. So this is my zipper, separating zipper, plastic teeth. And obviously that I will need to shorten it. So uh, this is how my zipper will open. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull and use my uh, chin guard as a measurement for my zipper. So I'm matching my bottom of the zipper with the bottom of the chin guard and clip, put a clip. My zipper right now is the right side up. So my zipper teeth are right side up. And because I've interfaced it, there's a uh, no stretching whatsoever and there shouldn't be so now obviously my zipper is much longer than I need it I'm gonna mark where I need to cut scissors are the ones that I never oh. okay so after I did my zipper I match the raw edges of the zipper with the raw edge of the chin guard. I'm gonna mark on the zipper where I'll need to cut. Okay, so now I'm bringing my zipper pull as close as possible to my mark where I did a snip. See here, I did a little snip. So I'm bringing my zipper as close as possible without going past it, because if I go past it and I cut, then I won't have my zipper pull in the right spot. So I'm going to pull my zipper pull lower and then do a cut to shorten my zipper. So this I don't need and this is how I shorten my zipper. Now, if you leave this like this, I can guarantee you that the first time your kid will pull the put the shirt on he will do this and the zipper pull will fly out so we need to put a zipper stop here i've done this before and i actually have a tutorial on the patterns for pirates blog of on how to shorten the zipper the tutorial is also linked in the pattern so everything that i'm doing right now i won't be going in detail through it because uh, you can find uh, step by step with a video in uh, in the blog and in the um, tutorial the link is in the tutorial too so i'm just making my zipper stop as i did when i did the uh, how to shorten your zipper one uh, patterns for pirates university blog so i'm gonna do just that right now and make my zipper stop don't play with fire if you have kids around that like to sew because i can guarantee you they'll be interested in this method because it's pretty fun so if you have kids that like to watch you sew make sure that they're not around when you do this because it's pretty interesting <laughs> and seal your uh, zippers with that. All right, my zipper stops are done. Now my zipper will not be flying off. <clears throat> Give it a few seconds to make sure the melted plastic is uh, cooling off. Because you don't want to touch melted plastic, trust me. I know why I'm saying this. It's not fun. All right. So while that's cooling off, just to recap, I have my zipper fold here. Zipper chin guard folded. 
this is the folded edge which you could optionally top stitch i never do that this is the short part of the fold this is the raw edge and this is where my zipper okay it's cold good my zipper will be so put your zipper and right now the zipper will end at the marking point fold your uh, zipper pull your zipper uh, tab like the chin guard this is on the inside i'm folding it raw edges are matching and i'm putting a pin and now that we have everything shortened and the zipper pinned in place over there i can remove one of uh, the other side i don't need that anymore right now this will be for the other side so we have this now this whole thing i'm gonna flip it on the wearer's left side in my case and matching the raw edges at the bottom i have my zipper sandwich in between the chin guard and the waistband and the front of the hood i'm just going to use a couple of pins and pin it in place nothing should be stretching everything should be stabilized because we've stabilized both the chin guard and the inside of your uh, say the stabilizer right here so i'm adding a couple of pins and then we'll be sewing this step on the sewing machine with your zipper foot attached and with a straight stitch we don't need any stretch in this area so that is not applicable perfect so obviously everything matched perfectly no stretching now before i sew this part i'm gonna go ahead and pin the other side too this way i don't switch the camera many times on you guys and i'll switch it just once when i go to the sewing machine okay one side is pinned and ready to be sewn perfect now the other side is where i wanted to show you my most prized possession when i do zippers so for one side i for the side that has a zipper uh, the, um, the chin guard i don't really use it you can if you want to but i don't really use it but for this side i always use my wonder tape like if you guys don't have wonder tape in your homes i highly encourage you to grab this i get it from amazon joanne has it too so you can use coupons on it this is magic when you're doing zippers this is magic like i i don't remember last time i did a zipper without having one of these at home as you can see i have them i have a backup always an empty um nano and not open box so it's a two-sided tape that so you can sew through it so it's not gonna gum up your teeth your um needle of the machine and it's gonna hold the zipper in place so I'm going to be adding, it also adds some st stabilization on the front. The back is al already stabilized with the uh, lightweight interfacing, but this will also add a little st stabilization to the front too. So I'm pressing this, um, wonder tape to the front of the zipper of the hood without stretching anything and about an eighth of an inch away from from the edge it's like a double-sided scotch tape so this is how it looks like one side is glued to the now the other side will be the sticky side that I'm going to be showing right now. Remove the paper on the top. 
making sure that the sticky side stays on the hood. All right. See, once I remove the paper, now this, this is sticky. So this is what I'm gonna add my zipper to. The wrong side of the zipper, just wanna double check that I'm adding the correct side. So this is how it's going to go in. So that means this is the right side of the zipper that I'm going to be laying it on top of the right side of my the front of the jacket. Again, I'm not stretching. I'm not pulling. This should be matching perfectly. First, I'm gonna go ahead and, and add extra a couple of things here and there. Next step that I that I do is making sure that I sew the first part because then I want to make sure my um, I'm matching my um, hood stitching here and my um, in this part that I want I want to make sure it matches on both sides so this might take a, li a little wiggling to, to make sure it all goes in the right spot but it should. Okay. Perfect. So now I'm going to take you guys to the sewing machine. the side with the chin guard first. Pull your zipper tab away from uh, from the start. very slowly and carefully and when you when you feel you've reached your uh, zipper pull just pull it on the back so pull it back at the beginning of the uh, zipper this way it's out of the way because you definitely don't want is consistent. Go slow, that's the key. And if you made a mistake, it's not a big deal. We're doing a straight stitch right now. So should there be a need to seam rip anything, not a problem. You can do that easily. There's no Surger stitch here. There is no uh, top stitching done yet. And if you want to make things easier for you, what you could do, which is not what I did, but you could. 
could use your chin guard. You, you could use woven for the chin guard. I've used it and it stretches, so I need to make sure I don't stretch that, uh, even with lightweight interfacing. So if you want to make your life easier, you can definitely do um, woven for your chin guard. All right, so one side is done. Okay. The zipper is sandwiched in between. This is my hood. This is my zipper. This is the chin guard. This is the zipper stop. Everything looks beautiful. So what I'm going to do right now before I sew the other side will be to make sure that everything matches. Like the... I need to make sure the um, hood matches on both sides, the waistband matches on both sides, because you, you really don't want to have them off-centered. So I still have my clips on. Just going to double check. I'll just close my zipper. See, and now I know you can see here my uh, this side is like a tad lower than the other side so that's something that i need to correct and that's easy to do especially before before sewing so let's start with that that's why i love my wonder tape because it makes it so easy to correct what well, another thing you can do is mark your waistband for example on both sides of the zipper to make sure it matches so i needed my waistband a little higher smidge if you're not opposed to having it a little off that's fine it's just that I know myself. If I don't have it centered perfectly, I I will not be happy at the end. All right, so now I have to move everything a little bit. Make sure everything is the correct way. And then we'll have to double check the same thing where the hood, hood uh, sides meet at the front of the zipper. But it, it's easier. It's easy if you if you have uh, the wonder tape on. It it's re restickable. <laughs> it's not hard. Just making sure my raw edges are aligned and everything is aligned. As it should be. All right, let's see. Let me zip it up again. I've had times when, I, when I've done this zipping and unzipping part like five times and that's fine. As long as you're happy with the end result. See, now I like it. Now my sides match beautifully. So I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way up to the hood and make sure that everything matches there too. Like we, when you do your um, patch pocket, your kanga pockets, for example, you wanna make sure those match to uh, the pockets. So it takes a little practice, but it's not hard, as you can see. It's definitely not hard. Oh, so my hood matches good now. I'm, I'm happy with it. So all we have to do right now is go ahead and stitch. So 
same thing. Hope I didn't make you guys too busy switching you back and forth. have a zipper foot definitely get one it is a must for this you couldn't really do it without one they have them super super unexpensive on amazon or joanne's or they're universal so you don't need to get one that's specific for your mission closed side you can uh, definitely uh, take those steps I like just like just like I do with my hood I like to just go ahead and do a cover stitch top stitch on both and this is what I'm going to be doing if uh, you can just do a top stitch with your sewing machine right now a straight straight stitch will work just fine because nothing here needs to stretch and it shouldn't stretch actually See how beautiful? Perfect. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to see. And my hood and my chin guard. See? Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and press top stitch. And this is it. There is the hood. I hope you can sew along as much as I did. This, hood. this is my kids and then I'm going to be sewing mine. The, the zipper parts will be the same for the bomber jacket and the um, hood, uh, the hood option so there's no need for another video for that one. How adorable is this? Once I press it, there won't be any waviness here. If you guys have any questions, make sure that you post them on the wall or comment on the videos that I'm posting and or on the blog. And don't forget to post your entries for your final hood in the day seven photo. Of course, you're welcome to post them on the wall, but I will only be counting for the prizes, the ones that are posted under day seven. Uh, tomorrow's day is a catch-up day and a recap so if you haven't finished yet no worries you still have plenty of time I will be posting the winners um, in two days so you have time to catch up and ask any questions if you have any I can't wait to see all the hoodies and the jackets that you guys are making and um, talk to you guys soon bye